my name's Amanda and welcome. Today I'm doing a very honest review on my new sewing machine. It is the Brother PS1500 SL, which you can see here in the background. I've had this sewing machine for about a month and a half which has given me quite a lot of time to be able to get used to it to play around with all of the different features and just sort of settle in with it and really see how I feel about using it and the different things that I do like and don't like about the sewing machine and things that I like and I need to get used to to yeah really enjoy the machine so as I just mentioned this review is going to be very very honest I have written a list of pros and cons about the machine that I do and don't like as well as different things about the machine that I will get used to over time so I'm just going to go through everything that I've written here I'm going to do the cons first just to get all the yucky horrible things out of the way and then I'm going to go through uh, a lot of the pros about the machine that I like and then go through the different things that I will eventually get used to when using this sewing machine so let's start with the cons let's get the let's get all of them out of the way so we're not fixated on them so then I can just go through all of the beautiful pros on this machine so the biggest con that I don't like about this particular machine is the needle threader. It is an awful, awful needle threader and I hate it. It's very, very basic. It's really fiddly, I find. Compared to the needle threader I had on my previous sewing machine, the needle threader on this one is just not good at all. It's actually gotten to a point where I actually don't use it because it's just too much faffing around and it's just so much quicker and easier for me to just thread the needle myself. I'm pretty fortunate because I'm young and I'm pretty good with my eyesight and all that sort of stuff. I actually find threading the needle on this machine very very easy just with my hand. It's so much quicker than using the needle threader so yeah I'm really really disappointed with that aspect of this machine but it's not a make or break thing for me. Another con with this sewing machine and it is one con that I knew that I was getting when I was buying the machine is not knowing when the bobbin runs out because it's not a top loading bobbin you can't see when the bobbin runs out obviously and all of my other machines have been like that whereas this one it's all hidden underneath just in this section here and you can't tell when the bobbin runs out so you just sort of have to keep an eye on it and just be really quite aware of how much sewing that you're doing and just to be conscious of, you know, any moment now the bobbin could run out and you'll be halfway through a stitch and you have to do it all again because you didn't have enough thread in the bobbin. As I mentioned, this was a con that I knew was going to, you know, arise and be with this machine when I bought it. So again, it's not a make or break thing because I knew about it when I was buying it so just be aware of that. Another thing that I don't like about this machine and I didn't realize this until I've been using it a couple of times is sometimes the threads at the front because all of the threads are quite exposed at the front where you uh, thread it up sometimes those threads can bounce out out of the little uh, arms and the little hooks and when that happens it can affect the tension in the thread it's it's not that big of a deal but you notice that the actual stitch doesn't look correct. When the stitch does look a little bit odd I then look back at the machine and I see that a thread has popped out of a couple of the little hooks at the front and that's the reason why. It's an issue that comes up not very often but I'm aware of it. I'm always just making sure that everything's in the right place but you know when everything's all in its right place all hooked up and working fine then it, the machine just just does what it does and it just sews perfectly but yeah I think that's just going to be an ongoing problem because it is a machine with the threads exposed at the front you know things are going to pop out and therefore affect the way that the machine sews but it's something that I can easily rectify it's just I just have to be aware of it and with my other machines I just haven't had to do that which you know it's just the way that it is. The last con that I have about the machine it's actually quite a trivial one because it's it's an issue that I can I can easily fix when I'm doing chain stitching I sew all my uh, units through and then when I'm pulling them to be able to cut them there's a little section at the back where it all gets caught it's the join between where the sewing machine and the table join and the threads and the units sort of get stuck in there and uh, try to pull them and it's it's a very trivial thing 
but uh, it's just something that annoys me when it happens. It's just one of those things that sort of just slow down my process because I sort of get in the zone and something doesn't work and I'm like, ah. Oh. But yeah, it's a very trivial issue and it's, it's something that I can definitely rectify through my actions and the way that I work and stuff like that. So those are all of the cons out of the way. There are only a few things that I don't like about the machine. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of other things that I love about the machine and that's what we're going to do now. So let's have a look at the pros of this beautiful sewing machine. So the first thing that I noticed when using the sewing machine was just the sheer power and the speed that the machine goes at. It is an extremely powerful machine and it will pretty much do anything that you want it to do. It will sew any thickness, any lightness, any like any fabric that you want, it will do it for you and it will do it at speed as well if you choose to do that. You can control the speed of the machine just with the foot pedal. When I'm feeding my pieces through I don't sew all that fast, I'm sort of like at a medium paced speed but if I want to go faster I can, if I want to go slower the machine will also let me do that as well. But again it's all with the control of the uh, foot pedal. The other thing that I noticed about the machine which is an absolute like fabulous thing and it's the reason why I bought it was the size of it. It has so much room. There's so much room in the throat of the machine. It's just unbelievable. I love the size that the table gives as well. It gives me better handle on quilts when I'm quilting them through the machine. There's just so much more room for the quilt to sit in this section here. It's just it's just wonderful. The size of it is just amazing and I really noticed the difference in the size when I was doing a demonstration at work the other day on this tiny little brother sewing machine and it had this tiny little throat like this and it made me realize that this machine is huge. The size and the power and the possibilities of sewing on this machine are just amazing and yeah I'm just I love just love the size of it. Another pro and this is one of the other things that drove me to buying this machine was the thread cutter. It has an automatic thread cutter which I just absolutely love. I've never had a sewing machine with that function before and using it for the first time it was just it was just such excitement. It was, it just felt so luxurious and amazing. I use it all the time. It is such a fantastic little feature. It helps with cutting down wastage of thread. With my previous sewing machine, I wasted so much thread. It's cut down my time in piecing and snipping off all those extra threads. It's just, it's, it's a fantastic little feature that just saves so much time, so much money, just just everything. Because it's not a computerized machine, it is really, really easy to start up. It's pretty much just flicking the switch on the side of the machine and it's ready to go. Whereas with my previous computerized sewing machines, I would turn it on and then I'd have to put it on the stitch that I want and, you know, just make sure everything was in the right place for the machine to go. Another really neat feature to this sewing machine that I love is the access to the bobbin. Even though there is a con of not knowing when the bobbin runs out, it is actually very easy to access the bobbin when it does run out. So even when you do have the wire table on, there is a feature in the table that you can just flick up and access the bobbin just in the side here. It just sort of minimizes any sort of hassle or faffing around to get to the bobbin. And I also really like the very easy to use bobbin cutter thing that's in it. Oh, I don't know what it's called. But when you put your bobbin in, you just wind your thread around it and you cut it and it's ready to go. And that was very, very easy to use, especially for the first time when I had no idea what I was doing. Staying with the bobbin, it is also very easy to thread when the bobbin does run out. Uh, it's very, very quick. I've never had a sewing machine that threads up a bobbin as quick as this one does. It's very easy to thread up, very easy to click into place, and then you just let the machine do everything that it needs to do and yeah that's pretty much all that really needs to be said about it because it's just so easy and very simple to to set up and get done. A big pro with this machine and it's also another reason why I bought it was all of the different accessories that you get with it. I was specifically looking for a sewing machine of this size that also came with all of the quilting accessories so that's a walking foot, a stippling or quilting foot as well as a quarter inch foot minus the the stippling or quilting foot the walking foot and quarter inch foot are the two feet that I use the most or that I use at all really and it was important that they came with the machine I didn't want to have to 
buy them as an extra accessory. With the walking foot it also has a guide bar with it. I actually haven't used the guide bar with this machine yet so I don't know how easy it is to use. I think it does involve a little bit of faffing around but like I said I haven't used it yet so I don't know how easy or how complicated that is to use. A couple more pros on this machine are these really simple dials that are on the front of the machine. I really love how easy it is to access the stitch length. Because this is a, a straight stitch machine only, there's no stitch width dial on the machine, it's only stitch length. And it's just this one here and it is so easy and to, to understand. At the moment it's on a two and a half stitch length which is about the average size stitch length but it's very easy just to turn it and twist it and change it to whatever stitch length that you want especially when it comes to quilting. This little lever here is the reverse stitch and it is so powerful and very easy to use. I like where it is located because it's a big chunky sort of thing to use. It's out of the way, it doesn't get caught up on anything and when and if you do need to use it, it's there. I don't often use the reverse stitch in my sewing because I do a lot of quilting and uh, patchwork and piecing and all that sort of stuff, which doesn't really require a lot of reverse stitch. But when I have used it, it's just been very easy and very powerful to use and I just think it's fab. The machine also features a needle up, needle down position and that's just this little button here so you can choose to have the needle stop down when you've taken your foot off the pedal or have it finish up when you take your foot off the pedal. I like the option of the needle stopping down in the fabric so if I need to move the what I'm sewing anyway then it's not going to move the needles in the fabric and it's fine. Someone did actually ask me to mention what the sewing machine is made up of so it is made up of plastic and metal so the main body of the sewing machine is metal, the top part is plastic, the side is plastic and the wide table is plastic but the main sort of guts or bulk of the sewing machine is metal so it is quite heavy to sort of pick up and move. I would definitely recommend to move it by the handle and not by anything else. And I think also because of how heavy the machine is it has really great suction cups at the bottom of the machine but that can also be a little bit of a con or when you want to move it it's just sort of stuck to the table so you've got to really yank it up but other than that because of those suction cups the machine doesn't move at all when you're doing anything with it it's just going to sort of stay put because it's it's just it's just it's just there you know I don't know, I'm not explaining that very well. One more pro I want to share with you is just how easy it is to chain stitch with this machine. I do a lot of chain stitching in my when I'm sewing and it's just a fantastic machine just to sort of put one unit in after the other after the other after the other. I have found with some of my previous machines sometimes the threads get caught up and stuck and it just doesn't want to feed through like tricky little half square triangle corners and stuff like that. This machine just does it. You know it just doesn't complain it just does what I want it to it just feeds everything through brilliantly and I just can't complain it's just fabulous so with the pros now done I'm going to just go through some of the things that aren't pros or cons but are just things that I need to get used to because you know with when you, with your machine you sort of build up this this routine with it you sort of become like in sync with the way that it works with how to do everything and it all just sort of becomes just like sort of second nature I'm still getting used to those sort of things with the machine we're still building up our relationship we're still getting used to one another so these things that I've listed they're definitely things that I will get used to after doing them over and over and over again but because I've only had the machine for a month and a bit no, we're still new with each other and we're still getting used to things. One of the things that I listed that I had troubles with first and it's complicated at first but I will definitely get used to and I have been getting used to it because I've done it um, a couple of times is threading the machine. When I did my unboxing video on this machine I mentioned that it was quite tricky threading up the machine because it was just so foreign and different to my previous machines. As I mentioned the thread is very exposed on the front of the machine and it has all these different nooks and crannies and little arms and hooks that I had to put the threads through and I was like oh my gosh what am I doing? But by following the detailed instructions that come with the sewing machine I've been able to just 
get used to threading it all through the right way in through the first hook and then the next hook and then up through the arm and all that sort of stuff so it's definitely a feature on the machine that is tricky but is something that I will definitely get used to by doing it over and over and over again. Another thing that I will get used to is changing the feet. With my very easy and very basic computerized sewing machines it was just simply just pressing a little hook at the back of where the, where the foot is attached to the machine and the foot just pops off. With this one I actually have to unscrew uh, each foot and put it on uh, it's called, I think it's called like a shoe or something, I don't, I don't know. But I have to screw on each different feet when I want to change them. So that's something that I, I need to get used to because it takes up a little bit more time than with my previous sewing machines. But, you know, it's not a con and it's not a pro. It's just something that goes with this machine and I will definitely get used to it. So we're back on the bobbin again. Because of the nature of the bobbin is in this machine, it is a lot harder and it does take up a lot more time getting used to putting a bobbin into a bobbin case and then putting it into the side of the sewing machine. The first couple of times I have been a little bit fumbly with my big fat fingers. I need to make sure that the thread is, is going the right way in the bobbin before putting it into the sewing machine. Just the different sort of steps and knowing how to hold the bobbin with the bobbin case in there to get it into the sewing machine is something that I've had to learn and I would definitely get used to over time. I've never had a sewing machine with a bobbin case before but I have used sewing machines with bobbin cases so I know what I'm doing in that aspect but it's just getting used to actually doing it every time the bobbin needs to be changed. It's a fiddly thing, it's a new thing but it's something that I will get used to over time and yeah it's not a make or break situation it is what it is. The last thing that I've written down to get used to is changing the needle. I've changed the needle once in this sewing machine and it's a little bit different, oh not that different to my previous sewing machines. With this particular machine, instead of the needle facing towards you, so you've got the eye of the needle actually facing towards you, the needle in this one is actually facing to the side. So the thread actually goes in the side of the needle instead of at the front, which is something to get used to. And it's also something to get used to when changing the needle because I need to have the needle facing the other way. But again, it's not a bank or break situation. It's just something that's different and I need to get used to and be aware of. And yeah, that's, that is what it is. So there are features and things with this sewing machine that I actually haven't used or done yet and I just want to list those before wrapping this all up. I haven't used most of the feet that came with this sewing machine. I think there was at least maybe five or six different feet that came with, with this machine. The only feet that I have used is the general purpose foot, the quarter inch foot and the walking foot. That's, that's all I've used because that's pretty much all I will ever really use to be honest. But all the other feet accessories I haven't used and I'm not sure whether I will at all. I'm not sure. So I can't really comment on those because I haven't used them. I'm sure if I do I'll let you know. Another thing that I haven't really explored with this machine is changing all of the different feed dog positions. On the side here there are all different sort of positions that you can change the machine to depending on the fabric that you're using. If you're using a really lightweight chiffon or you're doing a, a really heavy upholstery fabric or even a velvet you can change where the feed dogs sit as well as the pressure of the foot just off the top here. I haven't used any of that sort of settings. I haven't changed them. I haven't touched them because I haven't needed to uh, because I've just done my normal piecing and quilting on the machine. So with those features I can't really comment on because I haven't used them. I don't think I ever really will need to use them because I'm not a dressmaker. So this little dial at the front here, that's your tension uh, dial and I haven't used that. I haven't changed it, I haven't needed to change it and I possibly won't ever really touch that or play with it because the tension of the threads that match the fabrics that I'm using, it, it all works fine. So I haven't had to deal with any of that. Then the last feature slash accessory that I haven't used with this sewing machine yet is the knee lifter. Underneath the Y table, there is a knee lifter here and that just goes in this little hole just at the front. And what that feature does is it just lifts 
the foot up and down and gives you just a hands-free option when you're quilting or doing any sort of sewing where you can't really let go of what you're doing. So I haven't used that feature yet. I'm not sure whether I will or not because of where I sew. I don't think that feature is really going to work. But it's always nice to have that option there when and if I need to use it. But yeah, it's just something that I haven't used yet. So that's about everything that I wanted to sort of chat about and show you in this review for this sewing machine. If you've got any questions on this sewing machine or you want to know any little bits or tricks or anything, just comment below and I will definitely try my best to answer them as honestly as possible. So with that, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very soon. Bye!